The shop clock window is the employee side of shop clock. Employees are listed on the left hand side of the window. Each computer can be configured to list all active employees, any particular employee, or all employees belonging to a particular department or group. Employees open their time cards by clicking on their name and entering their password. Of course, no password will stop buddy punching. If buddy punching is an issue, you can use a fingerprint scanner instead of a password to confirm the employee's identity. Once the time card has been opened, the three buttons above the time card are enabled. The employee's name is displayed above the time card and the employee can punch the clock by clicking on the shop clock button. The employee can also read the company bulletin, print out the time card, request time off, or change his password. When finished, the employee puts the time card away by clicking on his name again. After a couple of hours, Bob brings his time card back up, clocks out, then puts his time card away. Employees can clock in and out as many times a day as needed. So by the end of the day, Bob's time card looks like this. Each row or session has a time in column, a time out column, and an hours column which displays the length of the session. Each of these sessions was the hours work type. This means that all of these hours are payable and subject to whatever overtime rules are currently selected. Daily and weekly subtotals are displayed in the next two columns. These subtotals are nice to have, but they are only the first step in calculating overtime. To see the overtime calculation results, just click in the bottom panel where the company bulletin is being displayed. Shop clock can display the time in hours, minutes, and seconds as it is now, or in hours and minutes without the seconds. To switch how time is displayed, select the desired format from the Display Hours As option of the Admin menu. Even though the seconds are not being displayed, they are always included in the totals. For this reason, when the time is displayed as hours and minutes, the totals may be slightly larger than the sum of the session totals. Shop clock can also display time in decimal hours. Decimal hours work just like dollars and cents. One hour and 30 minutes is displayed as $1.50 or 1.50. An hour and a quarter is displayed as $1.25 or 1.25. Decimal hours are nice if you want to check the computer's addition because they can easily be added. On the other hand, most people are more comfortable with hours and minutes. It really doesn't matter. Anyone can switch the way the time is displayed to whichever format they like best whenever they want.